Madam Chair Gates and board members, my name is Andrea Tupola. I'm the State House Representative for District 43, which starts in Maibi and ends in Eva. Today I'm testifying as an individual um, against the proposed rules and just kind of wanted to share some of my thoughts. Um, first is, I think in HRS 91.3 it states that an agency can change a rule if it states in writing the reason why it's doing the emergency change. And so I was just requesting to see what was written as to why the emergency rule was being proposed, kind of like a preamble when we look at the law, like when we're looking at a bill. It just says kind of how it came about. Obviously, you know, there's certain reasons, but I wanted to see in writing, like, how how it came to this solution, because there's many solutions that could have been proposed, but this is a specific solution. And I think also the things that other people have been bringing up about other current laws, I mean, as a lawmaker, I know that the public loses trust in us when we don't abide by the law. And so they're losing confidence in us because we need to check our check to make sure we're not violating any other laws. And if there's any support we can give you with people that can help you to look into that or whatever it may be, because it seems like we're crossing into a lot of different bounds that perhaps are unintended. Maybe the original intention was to protect the people that are there, but now it's just into every area that may or may not be the original intention of this rule change. Secondly is the unintended consequences. Um, something that was brought up earlier by Andre was in regards to the civil disobedience. You know, sometimes when we're making laws or rules, thinking that we're affecting one thing while unintentionally we're creating other things to happen, and that's what we don't want to happen. You know, we want this to, to not end up being something that's going to create more civil disobedience than what we've had. I mean, I have people come to legislature, you know, during sessions saying that our prisons are overcrowded ever since the sit lie bill. Now we have a bunch of homeless that are inside the jail with, you know, convicted felons. This, is, this cannot be where we continue to criminalize behavior because we think that we're shaping it to make people stop. And so thirdly, increasing access. I mean, we're talking about an issue that's on Big Island, but we're having a hearing on Oahu. And so in order to get a bigger scope of the people who are being affected, we need to be having this hearing on Big Island where people can actually attend this and not have to fly over. Or even here in Hawaii where, you know, people have been here since 1, maybe 8 in the morning. And I know it sounds like a long time. Trust me, I've sat in the long hearings. But still, to continue expanding access so that everyone's voice can be heard. Okay. And lastly is the solution. You know, a lot of times when we're making rules or laws, it's to find a solution. But what we're doing is so peripheral. Like, we're going to stop backpacks and this thing, but when the root of the problem is something bigger than what we're talking about right here. And I understand that that may or may not lie with you guys. That may lie across the building. That may lie with, it may lie with you at the legislature. That's what I'm you saying. You can enact legislation to cure this whole thing if you have the votes. Well, and that's what I'm saying is that doing this rule is very peripheral, whereas we may need to solve this problem that's much bigger and there's a root of it. And so lastly, I just wanted to say that I'm not coming up with these conclusions blindly. I have met with the chancellor here. I've talked with him. I've read through the court cases. I've gone up to Mauna Kea. I've met with the people. If you need somebody to stand in the gap and try to communicate or try to find some type of solution for this, I will do it. If we need somebody that needs to go up there and try to figure this out, we should. Because I don't think by continually ignoring the people that are up there that it's going to get any better. Or by making a law or a rule here on Oahu that affects Big Island is going to make anything better either. So we need to sit down and be realistic with ourselves. Are we really doing what we need to do to come up with creative solutions? The people of Hawaii are depending on us. They're depending on us to protect the land and to hear their voices. So if you need help, if you want us to help, and we have lawyers that work for we will come and we will help. I will come and I will help. I will go to the Big Island and I will help to advocate to help get the people protected if that's what needs to happen. Do I think that a law or a rule is going to change the behavior? Probably not, and it might worsen it. But we should think about that. What is this going to do adversely instead of being proactive, we're just reacting. Oh, this happens, let's react. So we have a choice here. We can initiate something mm -hmm. proactive that's going to help the people as opposed to restrict them or cut mm -hmm. them off, ignore them, or stand on a walk and tell people in the bigger than what we think. Mm -hmm. So if you want me to take that there, I will. Whatever you need help with, I'm there to help. That's what I think that we can do to make Hawaii better, is have agencies work together, be more collaborative instead of divisive. And that's the same way we need to make legislation and rules. Let's collaborate. The same, uh, I think she left, but the girl that was here, she said there are groups willing to help. Have them help advocate. Have them help out. 
you know, have them weigh in and have them bring you information. There's so many people willing to help with this issue. Let's bring them all on board and say, you know what? We need everyone's help. Let's bring everyone to the table and let's figure this out, as opposed to just ignoring people or, or assuming. Let's not work off of assumptions anymore. I have one question. Yeah. Yeah. What's your I, I'm a music teacher. Would you like me to sing a song? Yeah. No. <laughs> all right. That's what we need to do oh, is make music. Really? <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll sing you a song later. Thank you for your help. You, if Anything you need want to help, with. you work it out through the chairman. Position, I understand He's that. He's the boss. Chair Case, if you need help, I'm here to help you. I know that it's hard to do these types of things. If you need help collaborating, calling meetings together, identifying groups that can help you, I will help. So, I'm at your service. Yeah. So, we're like,